Hey everybody, it's Angie and welcome to Hot and Flashy. In today's video, I'm going to do an eyeshadow tutorial from the Makeup Geek in the Nude palette. Now, I was sent this by Makeup Geek and so I had tried it for the very first time when I was about to record my Foundation Friday on Rihanna's Fenty Foundation. And while the Fenty Foundation was an epic fail for me, the Makeup Geek in the Nude palette was a home run, hit it out of the park success. I had so many requests beneath that video to do a tutorial on the look that it like overwhelmed the comments about the Fenty. So it was nice to have one success for the day. So isn't this a pretty palette? It's much warmer than I would normally gravitate to, but again, I didn't buy it. They sent it to me, but I actually really like the look. I wasn't really gonna do a review of this here, just pretty much the tutorial, but um, needless to say, they blend like a dream. The color payout is fantastic and I just love the colors and the eye makeup look that I got with it. Let's get into the tutorial. I know you guys were really interested in how I did this eye look. It's um, a talk through so it might be a little longer than usual but I wanted to include lots and lots of tips and tricks so that you really get that eyelid lift going with your eyeshadow if you have the sagging hooded lids or the crepey lids or you know the wrinkly lids or whatever all the different lid problems that affect us um, as we get older. So lots of detail in here. I hope you like it and I will see you on the other side. This is my second try at makeup today. I had an epic fail earlier where I had to go and wash everything off my face. So let's start in clean and fresh. Um, we are going to be using the Too Faced Shadow Insurance Eyelid Primer. Earlier I had tried a new one from NARS which was an epic failure. So I just squirt a little glob out onto the back of my hand and then I just pick that up with my finger and spread it right onto my eyelids. And I go from my lashes all the way up to my eyebrows. I'm just gonna run my finger across the crease and remove any excess, pat that in to smooth it out. It keeps my eyelids from being crepey and wrinkly, so that is an absolute must have. It used to be this guy, but that's been discontinued. Wait, should I just move my hair out of the way? Because what the heck, I don't wanna be playing with it the whole time. Onto the Makeup Geek palette. First shade I'm gonna use is Rapunzel. And I'm gonna pick that up using my It Cosmetics Heavenly Luxe No Tug All Over Shader. And tap off your brush. Then I'm just gonna pack that all over the movable lid. Next color from the palette I'm gonna use is the one dead center. That one is called Buffed. And I'm gonna use the It Cosmetics Heavenly Luxe No Tug Crease Brush. I'm gonna pick up a little bit of that. And I'm going to start at the outer corner, right in the deepest part of the crease. Place my brush there, just make little circular motions, packing the eyeshadow right there at the outer corner. So that's where I want to keep most of it. And then I want to drag it down towards the outer corner of my eye. And then across, in like a rainbow shape, keeping the bottom edge of the brush at the top edge of the crease. And you can dip in for a little bit more. And that's just going to basically warm up the upper part of the eyelid. That fold of skin there, that's the crease. So you want to keep this above the crease. See how below that we have the original first color we put on? And then above that is this nice peachy tone. And then for the third pass, I'm just going to take this. I'm going to start right here at the bottom corner of my eyebrow. And I'm going to go straight across in a straight line to the outer corner of my eyebrow. So from inner corner to outer corner and back and forth. And if your eyelids are super crepey and droopy, you can reach over with your other hand and just lift that up ever so gently so that you get a nice smooth palette to work that on so that it really starts to disguise that hood. But you're left with a little bit of lightness right underneath the brow where you don't have the color. So you can go straight across and then back down onto there. All right, now I'm just going to go ahead and do the other eye quickly. Next, I'm going to take my MAC 221 brush, and I'm going to go into this guy over here, which is called Creased. And I'm just going to roll that in there to pick up a little color. Definitely tap this one off. And if you want, you can use the top edge of the palette as a shadow guard. I'm just going to start in the crease, about halfway between my eyelashes and my eyebrow at the outer corner and I'm going to do that same little thing where I just give it the littlest circular motions while holding the brush in the same place. Then I'm just going to increase the circle, make it a little bit bigger, but bring it a little bit further down towards my lashes. 
and that darkens up that outer corner. You want to make sure that you're not drawing it down here because that's going to bring your eye down. You want to keep everything up between the outer corner of your eye and the outer corner of your brow. So if you take this and put it there, that's the line that you want to keep all your eyeshadow inside of there. This brush is so beautiful for blending um, that you really don't even need to blend after you use this after you use this brush. So then you're just going to take whatever's left on the brush and you're just going to bring it across. Again, if you have those wrinkles in there, you can lift your eyelid up. Just going to bring that across a little bit, about two thirds of the way, and just keep it dug right into the top of that crease. You can just keep working back and forth until you get the look that you're going for. But this is not the darkest color we're going to use, so you don't want that to be like too, too dark just yet. So then I take a clean brush. This is my Beauty Junkies Pro Tapered Blending Brush. I never use this to apply eyeshadow. I just use this to blend. And I just take that and basically making the same circular motions at the same spot, I just blend that around in circles, bringing it up a little bit higher. I don't blend anything down onto the movable lid. Everything blends up into the crease and up a little bit higher to help disguise that sagging hood. All right, then I'm going to take my Sigma E56 lid shader and I'm going to go into this color down here. This one is called Dark Roast. Both sides, tap it off, get your guard up again. And then I'm going to start, basically I start everything at the exact same place and I'm just like layering and building up colors, starting at the same place. I'm just bringing that down and onto my eyelid at an angle. So you see how it creates that little curved line and a little wedge right there? And then I'm just going to take that and gently blend it the tiniest way, just like a quarter inch across there. Okay, so back to the Beauty Junkies Pro Tapered Blender and do the same thing. Just going to place it right on top of that eyeshadow, make little circles. I'm never losing contact with the skin. I'm just doing little circles right there and then I'm going to start to move it slowly across the eyelid in kind of a rainbow shape. I'm going to use the Sigma E56 again, but I'm just going to wipe it off on a tissue so that I can go in and pick up a little bit more of Rapunzel. And I'm just going to put that right underneath my eyebrow. And for the last step with the eyeshadow, we're going to go into In the Spotlight. I'm just going to pick that up on my index finger. Isn't that pretty? And I'm just going to pop that on the center of my eyelid on the lower part, starting right in the middle. And spreading that in towards the inner corner. And then if you want, you can always go back in with a little bit of the second color buffed back on the It Cosmetics brush. Just to really get that peachiness going and blend that gray color out a little bit. So we're done with the eyeshadow. Now we can just put on our eyeliners. Um, I use three. <laughs> I know, but what the heck, it's the look that you guys love so much, so let's do it up. So I use the Sephora Contour Liner in Tiramisu on my upper waterline. So I just take that and run it along the base of my lashes. And then using just about any little um, push brush for eyeliner, I take that and what's at the outer corner, and I just give it a little flick up. And that kind of gives me my template for my liquid liner. Now let me go ahead and do the lower lash line for that. I am using Sephora Contour Brushed Metal Gel Eyeliner in Silver Coin. Then for the liquid liner, I'm going to be using Clinique Pretty Easy Liquid Liner in black. It's like a zen moment. You have to like yoga breathe, be very calm, don't let your eye jump around like it's being attacked, make it be calm. Okay, now where the template is. Like so. All right, so I got the eyeliner on. So you guys, I love the Monsieur Big Mascara itself, but I hate the brush. <laughs> the 
the brush is so big and it puts it on so like clumpy and weird and this thing doesn't scrape it off very well. So I use the brush from a little sample size of the Estee Lauder Sumptuous, Knock Sumptuous Knockout because I love the brush in this. Curl the lashes. What I actually like the best is to do a base coat of Sumptuous Knockout and then put this on top using this brush. That's my favorite lashes currently. But I know not everybody's gonna be buying like two high-end mascaras. And wait, I think I would just wanna make it a little more poppy. So let's just go back in, a little bit on the finger. You always wanna start in the middle of your eyelid, not over here, because if you start in here, you'll end up with like the glitter all beneath your eye and that just makes your under eye concealer look awful. All right, so that's the tutorial. I hope you enjoyed seeing the tutorial and I hope you're able to recreate this look for yourself at home because it is a great eyeshadow look. I'm really happy with it. I really love the palette. Thank you so much Makeup Geek for sending it. So if you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And so thank you everyone for watching today. I really appreciate your time. And so I'll see you in the next video. So take care everybody. Have a great day. Bye-bye.